The movie San Andreas may be rocking the multiplex right now, but the scientists are not impressed. Here's ABC's Nick Watt. The Rock. Oh my God. Rubble. And a $53 million opening weekend. I was really moved by uh, the action. I was moved by the science. I was moved by... I was moved by the reality of it. Okay, action, yeah. How about the science and the reality? The simulator here is set to 8.0, and it feels pretty real, but a lot of seismologists are saying that the movie San Andreas isn't quite so real. I found fault in their fault. Uh, everything was exaggerated. All right, hold on. We gotta get over it before it crashes. Number one, the San Andreas fault could never kick up a tsunami because it's on land. The Earth will literally crack open. Number two, this fault line only rubs together, never gapes wide open. The only faults that open up are ones that don't produce earthquakes. Number three, a 9.6 is not feasible in California. They say 8.3 is the worst that could hammer the Golden State, and that's still pretty bad. Number four, in a quake strong enough to crack the Hoover Dam, even the rock would wobble. No way could he run. It was great fun. I just wouldn't uh, try to learn seismology from it. But she says they did get some important stuff right. Drop, cover, and hold on, because your life is going to depend on it. That's sound advice. And yes, aftershocks happen, and one quake can trigger others. People need to know that the shaking is not over. And the fear, spot on. We're going to get our daughter, I promise. I love you, Dad. Don't you quit on me. And when it comes to making people prepare for the big one, getting them scared is half the battle. San Andreas, 10 out of 10 on that front. I'm Nick Watt for Nightline in Escondido, California.